What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here and today I want to talk with you about Elixir strings. Back when Elixir strings first came out in the late 90s, I had tried them out. It was like a big deal. I remember going to Guitar Center and buying Elixir strings and feeling this crazy coating and like, wow, this is something really special. But then pretty quickly, the little flakes all came, you know, flaking off. And, uh, and it was really kind of gross and grody and the the like excitement and the appeal of them began to shed like a snake's skin. Uh, if you have had that experience, let me know in the comments below because I feel like I'm exaggerating those early days of Elixir strings, but maybe not. So I gave up on Elixir strings and just kind of swore them off. And over the years, I've had a few friends who they only use Elixir strings because it's the only string that their xenomorph blood infected hands don't get acid through. Uh, and so elixir strings are able to resist their xenomorph acid blood that comes out of their fingertips and their sweat. But for me, I'm like, I don't really have that problem. So it's not really worth it. I'll just take regular old strings. Uh, and then, of course, we had like Diodario NYXL strings that came out and the Ernie Ball Paradigm. And then now we had long lasting strings that sound good and feel like a regular string. So I was like, cool, I'm done. I don't need to experiment with different kinds of strings anymore. As long as they last a long time and maintain that bright sound, I'm, I'm good. So you may or may not recall for regular viewers of my channel that I had a Parker Nightfly just to do a review for the YouTube channel. So I knew that I was going to buy it, review it, and then sell it. So I put it up for sale and uh, somebody offered to trade me an American Strat. <laughs> This American Strat. I was like, you know what? I have actually always wanted a gray American Strat. Uh, yes, please. What happened was I just started playing this guitar. I fell in love with it. It felt so nice on the fingers. I was playing this guitar and I noticed that the strings were never dying. They, they were never going out of tune. They were, um, they were never losing their brightness. They still had that pop and that sparkle to them. And now it's been over four months that I've had this guitar and it's been not sitting in a case, it's been hanging on this wall right behind me, and uh, still, the strings have this bright pop like they're day one, like I had just put these strings on. And I was like, my goodness, what are these? And sure enough, you see where this is going. I messaged the guy who had bought the Parker Nightfly from me and traded this to me, and uh, I was like, dude, what strings are on here? And he goes, elixirs, baby. I, I use nothing but elixirs. And I was like, holy cow. So unbeknownst to me, I'd been playing on elixir strings for months and months, and the strings were never dying. Uh, so I finally bought uh, a new set to test on a different guitar. This guitar, my uh, Ernie Ball Music Man. I strung it up, and um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's hear and check out what it sounds like. So now check out the pop of the Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass that has had the uh, elixirs on it for about two days versus the, the 2011 Fender American Strat that has had them on for about four months.
Okay, yeah, so there you have it. So my final thoughts are, um, I think I'm a convert. Uh, you know, after 25 years of playing guitar and having tried elixirs back in my first year or two of playing and not really liking them that much, now I, I'm really impressed. The, the coating does not flake off of these strings. It stays bright for a very long time. Uh, they sound really good. They feel great. Just the right amount of slipperiness and um, I think I really like it. Now on my Parker guitars, the, they, they still tend to get like burrs in the bridge, so I'll probably continue using the Diderio NYXLs or the Ernie Ball Paradigm, whichever are available when I, when I need them or is on sale or whatever, um, because both of those, I've never broken one of those strings. But the Elixirs, I don't know how strong they are compared to uh, those other brands. Um, I don't think, I, I've never broken them on this Strat. I don't think I'll break them on this guitar, but the true test would be if I put them on one of my Parker Flies to see if that high E breaks because it, the high E tends to break on both of those unless I have the NYXLs or the Paradigm strings on them. We are the X-Men and we're here to say, do you want to buy a guitar course today? <laughs> Actually, just kidding. The guitar course isn't ready, but I am working on it and it's gonna be done pretty soon. Um, but I want your feedback. So hop down to the description below, join my email list, and you're gonna start getting some drafts of what I'm working on the course. Uh, but yeah, just join the mailing list and uh, if that's something you're interested in. Okay, back to the video. Uh, the only other thing I'd like to try is I'd like to try these strings on my Clapton Strat. This Fender Strat has a finished fretboard and so that finish feels kind of slippery. This Music Man, even though it just has a light finish and gunstock oil, it feels just um, just a little slippery on this one. So I'd be curious to try it out on the Clapton Strat with the unfinished maple board. I was not planning on this. I was not planning on trying Elixir strings. I had them kind of by accident and uh, just thought I would share my experience with you guys. So let me know what has your experience been with Elixir strings. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next times.